What's up people, I'm Zog and welcome to the step-by-step -step tutorial for getting started with Applied Energistics 2. By the end of this video, you will have a working system that will let you store your items. Before we get started, there are a couple things that you need to know. First is that you need a quartz grindstone or something similar like a pulverizer or a sag mill, something along those lines that will allow you to grind up certain objects into their dust equivalents. You also need to have gone out to a meteor to find all of the presses involved. Now, with this basic video, you do not need the calculation press. However, I do recommend it. Uh, it's good to get all of them at the same time. But if you only have these three, you can follow through with the entire video. Without further ado, let's get started. What you see in my inventory is everything you will need if you plan to follow along with the video. Some of them are easier to get than others, but if you have them all, you will be able to cre create the setup that I have at the end, which you will see then. It's not marvelous, but it definitely will get you started and it will allow you to hold a bunch of items. Now, slime balls, obviously you can use, you know, the blood or maybe even the blue slime balls. I'm not sure if they work, but basically whatever you can use to make sticky pistons, because that is what's required and you only need two of them. Glowstone and quartz. Sometimes in some mod packs, you can find glowstone dust in the actual world or in the mining dimension if that exists in your mod pack. If not, you will have to go to the nether for both of them. And silicone can be gotten by running either sand, clay, or redstone ore through the sag mill. Each of them has their different percentages or chances, but sand is the most common out of those and the easiest to get. So that is what I usually use to get silicone. And it's about a 50% chance from sand if you run it through a sag mill. Next, you need to prepare your environment. You need that machine I mentioned in order to get the dust for various recipes that are used in this setup. You also need the crafting table and you need a puddle. This is what Applied Energistics considers a puddle, but it really doesn't have to be that small. It can be larger if you want it larger. The exact size doesn't matter. As long as there's water in the bottom, the world crafting recipe should work. Now, what you want to do is you want to throw in your charged surges quartz, your redstone, and your nether quartz into the puddle and allow it to convert into its Fluix crystal counterpart. And then you can jump in and get the rest. The next thing you want to do is you want to take 18 of your Surtis quartz and six of your Fluix crystals, and you want to drop them in the grindstone or pulverizer or sag mill, whatever it is you use in order to get the dust equivalents of these crystals. 18 Surtis quartz and six Fluix crystals. The next thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and make these pistons that I mentioned. And go ahead and make them into their slime or sticky equivalent. Next, we're going to make the quartz glass. So what you want to do is make three copies of this recipe that I'm showing you right now. which will give you 12 quartz glass. Next, we're gonna make what is called the energy acceptor. You're gonna take your iron and put it in the four corners. Take your quartz glass, put it in the top, bottom, left, and right. And then one single fluix crystal right in the middle. Next, we're gonna make the energy cell, which has the dust in the top, bottom, left, and right. Quartz glass right in the middle, and Certus quartz on the four corners. Now we want to make the inscriber. All along the right side is iron, top left corner, bottom left corner, uh, also iron, Fluix crystal there, and then your two sticky pistons. There's your inscriber. Next, you want to go and find your power source, whatever it's going to be. Set your energy acceptor and hook it up to your power source. Place the energy cell right in front of that and you'll see it change colors if everything is working properly. That signifies that it's currently holding a charge. 
and then take your inscriber and put it right on top. Now, it will now receive a charge from the energy cell. So what you want to do is you want to drop in your engineering press and run both of your diamonds through this inscriber. Now it does take a little bit of time, but overall it's not too bad. Next, put in your logic press and run all four of your gold ingots through. And then take your silicone press and run all six of the silicone through it. Now you want to put the printed, all six of the printed, both the engineering and the logic in the top slot. All six redstone in the middle and all six of your silicone at the bottom. What this is going to do is it's going to give you four logic processors and two engineering processors. Now you want to head back to your crafting table, take the last three certus quartz dust and run it along the middle and then your glass and coat the top and bottom to get three quartz fibers. Take those quartz fibers, put them in the top left slot, and then take your last two fluix crystals and line them right beside it to get four ME glass cables. The rest of the quartz fibers, you don't need them anymore. Now you take some of your iron, put one iron in each corner, take two of your ME glass cables and put it in the two middle sides, and then take your engineering processors and put them in the top and bottom middle and then take out the ME drive. Now we want to make the 1K drive. Take one of your logic processors, put that in the middle, take redstone and put that in the four corners, and then take certus quartz crystals and put it in the other remaining slots. And then take out your 1K ME storage component. Next, take that 1K ME storage component, put it in the middle of the crafting grid, take your redstone and put it in the middle of the top left and right sides, Line the bottom with iron and take two of your quartz glass and fill the top two corners. And take out your 1K ME storage cell. Now you can come back over to your setup, put down your ME drive right in front of the, the energy cell, right click on it to open it up and put your 1K ME storage cell right in the first slot. Next, we need to make the illuminated panel. Along the right side, coat it with quartz glass Top and bottom middle, put glowstone, uh, glowstone dust. In the middle, put redstone, and then along the left middle, put the iron, and you'll get three illuminated panels. Next, we need to make two of the other components. In the top right, put two of your logic processors. In the top middle, put both of the fluix dust, and along the left, put one nether quartz, take out the result, and then in the left slot again that just got emptied, Put in your last certus quartz crystal and take out the result. Now take one of your illuminated panels, put it in the top left corner, take the annihilation core which is the one with blue in it and put it in the top right. Take the other formation core which is the one with orange in it, put that in the middle top and then take your last logic processor and put it right below the illuminated panel and then take out your ME terminal. Now you can take one of your remaining ME glass cables place it right on top of your ME drive, and then take your ME terminal and stick it right on the front. Now everything that's left is extra. Except for the redstone, it looks like I overshot that by one. So instead of 22 redstone, you really only need 21. Unless, of course, there was some kind of a glitch that I accidentally duplicated it. It happens sometimes. But chances are I was just wrong by one redstone. But if all went according to plan, you should now have a fully functional storage situation going on here. You should be able to put, you're not going to fit a whole lot because it's only a 1K ME storage. But from this setup, you should be able to clear out at least a few of your chests. And from what you just did, you should be able to gain a little bit of an understanding just to the point where you could now be able to make a 4K a 16K or a 64K storage cell. Which are these right here. This is the 4K. So in order to make the 1K, this is what we did. The 4K is three of those like this with that last processor, the one we didn't use, 
and then four redstone and a quartz glass. And then you get the 4K. And to put that one, then you put that in the middle and it's the same recipe as it was for the 1K to get the actual storage cell with three redstone, two quartz glass, and the bottom with iron. And then you'll have a 4K. You can make multiples of these. You can make up to 10 for that one ME drive. And if you really need extra storage, you can always put down more ME drives, hook them all together, and fill them as much as you can with storage cells. That was le This lets you have an almost infinite storage capability for whatever mod series you're trying to work with. And congratulations. You now have a complete storage solution for whatever modded series you might be playing. If you enjoyed the video, please click that like button and subscribe to see more step-by-step -step tutorials on not only further and more complex applied energistics setups, but also other mods that I will be doing in the future. If you didn't like the video, please leave a comment. Tell me what I did wrong. How can I make it better? You can also comment for any other reason. Share it, favorite, do what you do. And thanks so much for watching.